Hi there. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to start a business in Idaho. This is sort of a general overview of all the various processes that you can do uh, to get your business started. Uh, so first things first, you're going to need to download whatever PDF uh, file for your uh, company or your entity type uh, because the Secretary of State of Idaho, uh, their online website doesn't have any online filing option for any of the states. Uh, so it's just going to be good old-fashioned snail mail. Um, filing fees across the board are $100. Um, the only exception being nonprofit corporations. They're going to be paying only $30. Um, also, if you want an expedited filing, uh, it'll be $20 more, as well as any documents that are not typed. So you've printed them off and written. Uh, those will be uh, charged another $20 as well. So oops, down here we have all of our uh, entity types. So we have corporations, limited liability companies, general partnerships, limited partnerships, limited liability partnerships, and limited liability limited partnerships. Uh, if you click on each one of these links here, you'll be brought to a individual tutorial um, for how to file for each one of those and a little bit more about each um, entity type. So what we recommend doing first is performing a business entity search. Um, the reason you do that is that in the state of Idaho and in most states, pretty much all states actually, um, businesses must operate under a name which is completely unique to them and distinguishable from all other business entity names. Uh, to make sure that that's the case uh, and say you're a domestic company and you've chosen a name uh, and you'd like to see if it's being um, used already, you can go to the Secretary of State website, um, enter it into the search bar in the business entity search function, and it'll give you all similar names in the name database. You can click here for a little tutorial on how to do that. Um, also, this obviously applies to foreign businesses too, who are already operating under a name, and uh, like to verify that it's not already taken in Idaho. If this is the case, you'll have to operate under a fictitious name. Also, you can perform what is called a name reservation. Uh, that'll preserve the rights to your name for up to four months prior to filing with the Secretary of State. Um, how to register in Idaho. Uh, just as we discussed, the first step is obviously choosing your name if you're domestic or verifying the um, uniqueness of your name if you're foreign uh, or a foreign business rather. Uh, by performing, as we just said, the business entity search. It's always a first step that we recommend. Or um, performing a name reservation as well to reserve your name. Um, once this step has been done, you'll be, you know, you'll be able to tell that, that your name is unique and that you're able to use it and your filing won't get rejected uh, when you do file with the Secretary of State. Uh, after that, you decide what sort of um, business entity uh, you'd like to file for. Now I'm assuming you have a pretty good idea of, of you know what's best for your situation. Uh, in case you're unaware of this, um, a domestic, like here, domestic profit corporation, any domestic entity is one which is being formed uh, completely new in the state of Idaho, um, as opposed to a foreign uh, business which is a pre-existing business from another state or country which would like to do business in Idaho and this is going to require that you file what they call a foreign registration statement in this state um, and that statement can be used for, for all foreign filings while domestic filings they usually each have their own um, their own different filing form so click on any one of these and again you'll get a detailed tutorial for you know each one of these uh, you figured that out you have to write a check made payable to the Secretary of State for the filing fee. The advantage of purchasing a nonprofit corporation, as we talked about before, will only be thirty dollars. Uh, if you decide to expedite your um, filing process, make it one hundred and twenty dollars. Same if you, for some reason, decided to write your uh, application uh, by hand 
which we definitely don't recommend because that's an expensive choice. Um, lastly, you're just going to put all the uh, necessary documents in an envelope. That's the check. That's uh, two copies. Well, when you download the forms, you'll find that there's two different copies for, uh, for each form. Uh, fill them both out. So you throw both those in the envelope. And then also, if you're a foreign entity, you're going to have to supply a certificate of good standing or a certificate of existence. They're all the same thing from your original state or country. Um, that has been issued 90 days prior to your filing with the Secretary of State of Idaho. Uh, pro the uh, processing for these types of filings usually between 7 to 10 days. They'll send you correspondence in the mail. This will be a copy of your original articles or certificate um, that has been stamped and then also the filing number for your company. And this is the address here in which you can send it to. Uh, as we discussed before, uh, name reservation is one that uh, is, is used to um, protect the rights of a company name for up to four months. Uh, the filing fee for this is only $20. Four months is actually uh, a lot longer than a lot of different states allow for this uh, type of filing, so uh, we certainly recommend doing that. Certificate of a good standing. Um, we also just talked about this, but it's pretty much uh, used as proof that a business has filed all their annual reports and that they've complied to state law. Uh, it can be used to apply for loans, and it's often applied used for um, businesses who'd like to operate outside the borders of their original jurisdiction of formation and would like to provide proof of, uh, you know, just legitimacy with their, um, with their own Secretary of State. It's 1150 if you download the printable PDF, and it's $12 to get sent a signed copy by the Secretary of State. Now there are agreements for each uh, entity type, be it corporations, limited liability companies, or partnerships. Um, they're the corporate bylaws. LLC operating agreement and partnership agreement. They all pretty much serve the same function, which is just to provide a guideline um, for how your company is going to operate, essentially. We've offered free templates in each one of these links, as well as a short description on, on how to um, how and why, really, you should you should draft and, and sign one of these. It's, it's not legal. None of these are, well, I shouldn't say it's not legal, but uh, it's not legally required in the state of Idaho to draft one of these. Um, but it's definitely recommended because it'll be the only document which um, you know dictates the ownership of the company and the various um, manager responsibilities and rules. Um, so yeah, we certainly recommend that you you know click on each one of these links depending on the entity type that you're filing for. Uh, get your hands on one of our free templates and uh, get your attorney to review it after um, you sign it. Employment identification numbers. Uh, this is something that you're going to have to um, apply for after you're done filing with the Secretary of State. Uh, it can be done on the IRS website or through the PDF application of Form SS4. Uh, essentially, it's just a Social Security number for businesses. It'll allow um, Internal Revenue Services to process you uh, when it comes to filing your taxes and to just recognize you. As a, as a business and you will not be able to you know perform any kind of financial transaction without the acquisition of one of these uh, EINs they're called. Alright guys well I hope that was helpful feel free to click on any one of these links to get more information about your entity type. Alright take care.